viewers to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So this is basically the eighth episode in which we are looking at the November 2022 mathematics paper one extensively. So in the first seven episodes, we covered question one through 13. So let us move straight to question 14. The mass of a loaf of blade is 702.1 grams correct to one decimal place find the question a lower limit question b relative error of the mass of the loaf of bread so uh, basically we are given the mass after being collected to one decimal place then the question is what would be the possible a lowest value that this mass would take before being collected to one decimal place that's it basically how you approach this question so let us say uh, basically after being collected to one decimal place we have this value which is 702.1 as in the value then the question is what is the lowest value this would take such that when you collect it to one decimal place it gets to 702.1 so x would take up the values as we look at basically for the lowest unit which is 0.1 which is this part we divide it by 2 we are going to get 0.05 so when you subtract 0.0 5 from this number we are going to get a uh, basically 702.05 so if i have this number and i collect it to one decimal place basically because 5 is equal this number which is 5 is basically equal to 5 or greater than 5 so when collecting to one decimal place i'm going to add a 1 here then I get back into that so we know that number but if this number was a 4 it was a 702.04 because 4 is less than 5 even if I were to collect to one decimal place this number becomes just 702.0 so it can't go lower than that so I have the lowest so the lowest here is basically this number that we found here what, are, what have we done? We've subtracted in the, this lowest unit. In, we divide by 2. Then we get this. Is what we subtract from this number which is collected to one decimal place. Then if the question was for us to find the upper limit. What we do is basically to this number we add that. Then we just get a number that is slightly lower than this. So this what would be? it would be something like 702.1 plus this it will be 0 0.5 now if this 0 0.5 we were to collect to one decimal place it becomes 2 here so because it becomes 2 we can't get that well we need to look for a subunit we subtract one subunit of this which is 0 0.01 then we end up with 0 0.04 you see the number that we are going to add so that becomes that so it becomes 702.14 such that if i were to collect one decimal place because 4 is less than 5 i'm going to add a 0 on this then i'm going to end up with 702.1 as long as it is so this is the maximum it can take if this goes to 5 then it changes it's no longer 702.1 but becomes 702.2 so the interval the interval x would lie you see basically 702.10.05 then to 702.14 this is the maximum this is the minimum which is the lowest the lowest the upper limit the question is asking us to find the lower limit so you see this number we are interested in so we have 702.05 as our answer if the question was asking you to find the upper limit you would go for this so ideally the question you're asking 
to two decimal places what is the interval of numbers where this should lie in such a way that if I collect it to one decimal place it still gives me 702.1 so what are those two numbers you see these numbers that's the interval so basically this is how you answer question A we move to question B we need to find the relative error of the mass of the loaf of bread so basically how do you find the relative error so let me go to the new page so relative error is given by an absolute error divided by the true value or the actual value that's the case but the question is how do you find the absolute error we shall call it a b absolute error a e the absolute error is basically given by the f the least unit of measurement that is the absolute error then the true value is basically the actual value that we are given in this case the value is 702.1 as the denominator so we are given a uh, basically 702.1 then what's the least unit the least unit in this case is this value which is 0 0.1 then we find half of this we divide by 2 we are going to end up with 0 0.05 this is basically the absolute error so it's say error that would make in measurement such that if you collect it one decimal place it will give you a number close to this 702.1 so it's this number that we put here then we divide so basically once we find that we are going to put this number here then we simplify so we simplify in the simplest term then once we do that we basically saying we found the relative error so let us create more space so in this case relative error which we shall call error e is equal to absolute error divided by actual value so the absolute error we found it to be 0 0.05 we divide by 702.1 then we need to simplify this so what's the best way we can simplify this is by shifting the decimal places how do we shift we multiply by uh the here we have two decimal places by 100 which is the number we fee two zero so 100 down then also we do the same up so up and down the same thing so once we multiply that we are going to end up with the basically five over two seven zero two then ten so when you to, to simplify this one we're going to have a five over 702 then 10 which is 70,210 then the next thing that we do is we divide by 5 in both sides 5 into 5 is a 1 then we start dividing 5 into uh, basically 7 you see 1 remainder 2 5 into 20 is a 4 remainder 0 then we put a uh, 0 plus 2 is basically a 2 5 into 2 is a 0 remainder 2 then we come here these are 2 in front this becomes 21 here 5 into 2 to 21 is uh, basically 4 remainder 1 ok 1 and th this one becomes 10 so 5 into uh, 10 is a 2 so we end up with 1 over 14,042 as basically the relative error of mass of a loaf of blade so when we get to the uh, question so we have basically 1 over 14042 as our answer so basically this is how you answer this uh, question so i might take a relative uh, 
time to answer this question because I want you to understand the concept behind. Thank you viewers for watching uh, this uh, video. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing to our channel because we've got so much content for you. So once you subscribe and go to our YouTube channel, you discover that we've got extensive exam revision where we've covered questions in mathematics, physics, and the chemistry. Then we are also adding more subjects. We've got also another section which is topic based exam question revisions. This is the best section for you if you are facing any challenges in any specific topic. Remember, for you to master anything, you need to know how questions are asked. Hence, we give you tips and tricks by giving you extensive explanation to each and every question.